okay so now we'll see how to solve three equations okay three linear equations using matrices now there are two methods which we can use to solve the equations using matrices the first method is called as method of reduction the second is method of inversion okay now method of inversion of course requires the inverse of a matrix to be found out and we have already seen how to find out the inverse okay now we'll first go to what is method of reduction and then we'll move on to inversion okay now consider these three equations now the first thing you have to do is to arrange these three equations in the form of matrices okay first we should place the coefficients of x y z of all the three equations in a matrix then the second matrix will contain the unknowns that is x y and z and the third matrix will contain the constant coefficients okay this is how we represent the data in the matrix okay now this first matrix the matrix of coefficients is to be reduced in the upper triangular matrix it means the three numbers these three numbers these should be zero okay now you have to reduce this into an upper triangular matrix using row transformations in this you cannot use the column transformations as the matrix on the right hand side does not contain any columns it contains just one column okay so we'll be using row transformations now the first row transformation is r2 minus r1 right so you can directly see that the row 2 the first element of row 2 is 1 the first element of row 1 is also 1 so if you subtract them you will get 0 in the second row right so this is the first transformation we already got 1 0 okay now the first element in the third row is 3 right so we have to multiply the first row by 3 so it becomes 3 and we have to subtract it from the third row so the next transformation will be r3 changes to r3 minus 3 times r1 okay so by making that change you can see now the first element in the third row is also zero right so we have already got two required zeros right and now we have to just make that last element which is one okay the second element in row 3 we have to make that as zero now we cannot use row 1 to make the changes we have to use row 2 to make the changes in row 1 because if we use row 1 the first element of the third row that will change that has already been made zero by us okay so the last change the element of row 3 is 1 the element of row second element of row 2 is 1 so it's straight forward you have to subtract them so the last change will be r3 changes to r3 minus r2 okay so after that change what we get is an upper triangular matrix now once we get this matrix what we have to do we have to start with the last row okay now you can see in the last row we are two zeros and there is just one coefficient left okay that is the coefficient of z so i can say 1 z is equal to 3 so the value of z comes out to be 3 okay from the second row you can see the equation the coefficient of y is 1 the coefficient of z is 0 so we have 1 y plus 0 z is equal to minus 2 right so that gives you y is equal to minus 2 and similarly the first equation that gives you x plus y plus z is equal to 2 so substituting the value of y and z i get the value of x as 1 okay this is how we solve the equations using matrices now we will solve the same question using the method of inversion in this method what we do is we again represent the question in the form of matrix so once we represent the question or the equations in the form of matrices we'll name all the three matrices the first matrix is called as a the matrix of the coefficients the second matrix can be named as x and the last matrix can be termed as b so if you multiply both the sides by a inverse what we get is x is equal to a inverse into b so what we need to do is we need to find the inverse of matrix a and multiplied by matrix b we have already seen how to find inverse by adjoint method so we'll find the inverse of matrix a using the adjoint method which comes out to be 4 0 -1 -1 1 0 and -2 -1 1, 1 we need to multiply this matrix with matrix b that is 2 0 7 once you multiply we get a matrix which gives you the values of x y and z